welcome back to my channel. My name is Jamila and this is Jamila Creates where we create beautiful things. Um, so this um, particular episode is one of my favorite things to do with HDPE, the melting of plastic that I have in my previous videos is I made a very cute button for this set and also an o-ring which you will see but basically what happened is I found this awesome um, clothing swap at Totally Tailored. I will link them down below. Awesome company. Awesome clothing swap. And I found this dress with little fishes on it and I thought it had potential. So I ended up cutting into two pieces, adding pockets to the skirt, flipping the top around so that there's a keyhole in the front, and doing and adding a zipper down the center of what is now the front. So I did a couple things with it. Um, this will be a different kind of video since this isn't my size anyway. I decided not to show my face in the entire video because it's not necessary. So um, I'll do voiceovers to tell you about what I'm doing. But other than that, it's kind of um, just a watching of the actual tutorial now. Um, so I guess let's get to it. So here's a look at the before, and I'm sorry about the mess in um, my area, y'all. I'm doing a lot right now. So you can see that the button had kind of fallen off, and I showed off the previous button. I really like that, and I'm keeping it. It has a Z engraved, but you can see I'm just showing some of the things I want to do. I also ended up taking that zipper in particular off and just sewing it back down there. Um, and yeah, that's dress. And now this is um, the dress flat and I'm showing you the first thing that I'm going to do with it um, which I believe was cutting down the sides maybe okay so this is after I took off the side zip I did that off camera and now I'm just determining where I want to crop it um, when you do this keep in mind that you'll have to have seam allowances on both the top and bottom but I thought the skirt started off a little long so that's kind of perfect for me and I don't know why we're stopping and doing nothing I probably lost something there we go the big ruler okay um, I'm gonna speed this up just a little and on patterns like this um, you can see that I just kind of used the middle of the fishes as a guide to how to make a straight line so um, it could be a lot easier on patterns like this and then I cut after using the roller because my blade had gone dull. Alright, and then to see what needed to be fixed, I put it back on the mannequin the way I wanted. And I'm going to have to be taking apart the tops and sewing them back together where those pins meet. And I also found that plastic o-ring that I had previously made, so I decided to use that on the zip. And this is how it's looking so far. So now what I'm doing is I'm just measuring where those pins went and I'm um, measuring, that was the measurement of how much I'm taking off um, by putting the seam there and just um, sewing a little bit more shallow. So you can see I'm not changing where the top is um, or where the top seam lines go. I'm not changing the height of the top, but I am going to be cutting the straps a little bit more or just tucking them a little bit more into the seam allowance, either one will work, um, just so that the strap part is shorter but the top part is still aligned where it needs to be. And I'm also going to be going in and re-sewing the top back down um, as it was, but I needed a lot of space to get the straps in correctly because they get kind of thick near the end. And then I found that the whole seam was just kind of loose, so I had to re-sew um, the entire back top back together, which was fine. It was pretty easy. And here are the pockets. Um, the one side, when the zip came off, it was just like that, and then the other side I had to seam rip. But I'm just going to sew along where those pins are and sew them to the front. Um, if you're following along, you might want to do this a little bit lower than I did it, because this is high-waisted, so I would move it down a couple of inches if I were you. Alright, and now I have measured in, and marked the center front, and I'm also using the fish as a guide. 
I'm just cutting up both, um, in, well, it's only partially lined. I'm just cutting down the center front, um, all the way to the top, and I'm going to be adding a zip right in there. <laughs> So I pinned the zipper so that it was together and then I unzipped it. Um, and now that I have the zipper installed on the top, I'm just going to sew the side seams and I'm going to sew along the pocket. So it looks like there's this big lump hanging out from the um, hips, but that's just where the pocket bags go and then you stuff it back in. Um, oh, and I'm also going to be seam ripping the um, darts. My first successful button. This hurt my hand a lot because it ended up being really thick and I ended up having to cut it in half with scissors. Um, these scissors are the real MVP. They are amazing. Um, but it's my first successful button. Yo, how cute. How cute is this? It's all recycled plastic with my plastic smithing technique. Um, you could see I have some O-rings being molded under those books right now, but here are the rest of them. Um, they're all right. I'm more excited about the button. I am super excited about the button, but boy, does my hand hurt. All right, so uh, the last steps involve the uh, melted plastic. So I found all these O-rings and heart-shaped rings. Um, I've made all these myself, but I did make them a little bit earlier for this. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be putting grommet holes, or grommets, so you could see I have an X-Acto knife and I'm cutting, um, the hole that I'm going to be putting the grommet through. And then after I install each of the grommets and all of the places that I've planned out, measured, and marked where they're going to be, um, after all that, I'm going to, um put a safety pin through it and have the um, HDPE parts hanging off of a safety pin. That way, when you're washing it, um, you can take them off or just make sure to put them all on cold water. Um, but yeah, that's why I would recommend is to use the safety pins. It just gives it like a little bit of an edge that I think is very neat. And after that, of course, there's the button that I'm super excited about. And then I'll be done. And at the end of this video, I have a couple of ways to style it. One is just like kind of as I made it with the crop top and the uh, skirt. Another one is to pull the skirt up so that the elastic band 
is above the chest and then um, put the crop top on over it and felt the whole thing. But I'll let you see that at the end of the video. Alright, um, I'm going to be signing off now. Please remember to like and subscribe for more content like this. Um, I think my next video will be about what you can do with like t-shirts, sweatshirts, that kind of thing. I have a vague understanding of it right now because um, I'm a little busy with my new job that I just got, but uh, hopefully I will have that um, all come together. I'm also really excited for some new things I'm going to be doing um, selling wise, so keep your eye on that. Um, if you want this dress, it's either on my website or going to be on my website very soon. Um, I'll have it linked in the description down below. Um, thanks so much, and as always, happy sewing!